Hello, PPM students. Welcome to this another video of our Math 5 lesson. We will continue chapter 12 with the fractions, decimals, and the percentages. In this video, you will learn the three lessons. We have percentages as a fraction out of 100, find equivalent fractions, decimals, and percentages, and compare and order fractions, decimals, and percentages. Are you ready, P5? Come on, let's get started. I have here a picture. This is Ralph. Ralph has 100 raisins. 25 of them are yellow and the rest are black. How would you express the number of yellow raisins as a percentage of the total number of raisins? So if you know the answer or if you have something in your mind, you can share that during our class. And how would you express the percentage of the yellow raisins also as a fraction? So earlier is as a percentage. How about as a fraction? You can draw a diagram for that and you can share during our class. I have here a problem, children. What fraction of the flowers are red? There are 100 flowers in a flower bed. The 45% of the flowers are red and the rest are white. Then I have here a large square to represent the flower bed. So it is made up of 100 small squares with 10 small squares on each side. So this is 10 by 10. So there are 100 small squares, right? The small squares represent the 100 flowers to show that 45% of the flowers are red flowers we color 45 squares so there are 45 squares means there are 45 red flowers and the rest are white so 100 minus 45 is 65 so 65 are the white flowers okay so 45 percent means 45 out of 100 so to find the fraction of the flowers that are red the denominator is the total number of flowers, which is 100. The numerator is the number of red flowers, which is 45. So 45% is equal to 45 out of 100. Here, this one. Then 45 out of 100 of the flowers on the flower bed are red. Next, what fraction of the circle is blue? Adam draws a circle and divides it into 100 equal parts. He colors 75% of the circle blue and the rest is white. So 75% means 75 out of 100. If we reduce this so to simplest fraction, it is equal to 3 quarters by dividing both by 25. So, 75% is equal or the same as 3 quarters. So, 3 quarters of the circle is blue. If we will draw this one, as you can see, this is 3 quarters. And the rest is only 1 quarter. Note also, children, that 50% is equal to 1 half. And 25% is equal to 1 quarter. Always remember this, 50% is equal to 1 half, 25% is 1 quarter. Another, find equivalent fractions, decimals, and percentages. I have here a problem. Ron has $1, he spends 40 cents on an eraser. What fraction of his money does he spend on the eraser? What is this fraction in percentages? Discuss this during our class. And can a fraction of decimal and percentage have the same value? Okay, think about it and we will discuss this. We will talk about this during our class. I have here a problem, children. Ryan's paint. Ryan mixes a tin of red paint with a tin of white paint. The new paint has 50% red and 50% white paint. So one half of the new paint is red, right? And 50% is equal to 50 out of 100. And 50 out of 100 means one half. Take a look. 50 out of 100 is one half. So one half of the new paint is red. So 50 out of 100 is 50 hundreds. So 5 tenths means 5 tenths. 
So, 5 tenths is equal to 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 of the new paint is red. So, when we say 50%, 50 out of 100, 1 half and 0 0.5 have the same value. Okay, I have here another problem. During a donation drive, 100 textbooks are donated to a charity. In this diagram, one book represents 10 books donated. So the 10 books represent 100 books donated in total. So 70% of these books are mathematics books. 70% change to fractions is equal to 70 out of 100. If we reduce to the simplest fraction, that is 7 tenths or 0 0.7 in decimals. So there are seven mathematics books in the diagram. Another, so 20% of the textbooks are science books. So 20% is equal to 20 out of 100 or 2 tenths. And as decimal, we have a 0 0.2. So there are two science books in the diagram. 10% of the textbooks are English books. 10% in fraction is equal to 10 out of 100 or 1 tenth or 0 0.1 in decimal. So there is one English book in the diagram. So children, that's how to convert or change percentage to fraction and then to decimals. Let's have lesson, the last topic, we have comparing and ordering fractions, decimals, and percentages. Look at this problem. IZ, Ralph, and Tez had the same amount of money. How would you tell whether they have spent the same amount of money? Or we are going to compare which has more and who, who among them has the less amount of money. So how are we going to compare this? Because IZ, she spent one half of her money. Rob spent 40% of his money. And Tess, she spent 0 0.8 of her money. So each one of them representing fractions, decimals, and percentages. Okay. So, is it easier to compare values as fraction, decimal, or percentage? So how are we going to compare this amount? So children, if we compare money or any amount that is in decimal, percentage, or fractions, all we need to do is to change all of this in one form. You can use all as fraction or all as percentage or all as decimal. Okay, I have here a problem. Eve has a ribbon that is 2.2 meters long. Mathilda has a ribbon that is 3.6 meters long. So which one has a longer or shorter ribbon? 2.2, if we use a number line, is around here. And 3.6 is around here. We can see that from this number line, the 2.2 is less than 3.6. So, Eve has a shorter ribbon than Mathilda. If we are going to compare decimal children, we look at first the ones place. So, 2 and we have 3. So, 2 and 3, 2 is less than 3. Another problem, I have here Julian's and Kate's flower. Julian has 2 fifths kilogram of flour and Kate has 0 0.1 kilogram of flour. When we compare this amount or this flour, we need to change one of them to decimal or two fractions. So in this one, we change 2 fifths into decimal and that is equal to 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is around here and 0 0.1 is, is around here. So which one is heavier? Jolene's flower or Kate's flower? Yes, it's Jolene's flower. So from the number line, 0 0.1 is less than 0 0.4. So Kate's flower is lighter than the flower of Jolene. So Jolene has 0 point, uh, 0 0.4 kilogram. Another problem, we have Alex, Alex and Mark's pocket money. Uh, Alex and Mark get the same amount of pocket money. 
Alex spends 30% of his money and Mark spends one half of his money. So 30% is equal to 30 out of 100. So that is 0 0.3. One half is equal to 5 then, so 0 0.5. So we can express 30% and one half as decimals. Then we can compare them in the number line. So we can see here that the, that 30% is less than one half because 30% is only 0 0.3 and one half is 0 0.5. So we have Alex spends less money compared to Mark because Mark spends 0 0.5 or one half of his money. Okay, so as we can see here, if we can also use a uh, place value chart when we are going to compare, 130% is 0 0.3 and one half is 0 0.5. So as we can see, if we are going to compare, we are going to look at the ones first. As we can see, they have the same digit, but in their tens place, we have three and five. 5 is greater than 3, therefore 0 0.5 is greater than 0 0.3. So Mark spent more money than Alex. I have another problem, sale time, that this table shows the deal some shops give during a sale. So shop A and B, C, D, and E. So every shop has different different discounts that they give during a sale to know which sale give the best deal we have to convert them to the same form to compare so let's convert them we have like this so 20 percent we move change into decimal is 0 0.2 three fifths is 0 0.6 0 0.7 is 0 0.7 as the same 40 percent is 0 0.4 and four fifths is 0 0.8 as we can see, if we are going to arrange them in ascending order or from the smallest to the largest, we have 20% is the smallest and the biggest or the largest is 4 fifths. Okay, P5. So this is how to change or compare the decimals, fractions, and percentages. All we need to do is to change them into one form. So we can compare and order them. Okay, so that's all P5 for lesson 4, 5, and 6. I will discuss more about these topics during our class. Thank you for watching P5 and always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and enjoy the rest of the day.